Alright, today I'm going to be comparing this Dagny Dover Indie Diaper Backpack to the Minabay Vegan Leather Diaper Backpack. Let's get started! I'm starting with the Minabay option. This Vegan Leather Backpack is super nice. It feels so soft and I love that it's a little bit more gender neutral than some of the other diaper backpacks I was looking at. It definitely works for me or my husband to carry it. Starting with the outside of the bag, it has three pockets, all of which are magnetic closure, so they stay closed, and it also has a clip for your keys. You can see I have the shoulder strap attached. You can also attach stroller straps right here. And it has backpack straps. It has a luggage pass-through. Again, it's magnetic, so it stays closed when you're not using it. And it has a neoprene sleeve in the back as well. It has a nice handle to hold it from. And then when you open it up for the inside, it has a magnetic flap and then a two-way zipper so you can open it either side. Opening it up, I love how light the interior is. It makes it super easy to see to the bottom. As you can see, I already have this one loaded up because this is my current diaper bag. Inside, it has a ton of pockets. It has a nice laptop sleeve that fits my iPad Pro 12 inch. I haven't tried it with any other computers yet. It has a zippered pocket, and then all the way around it has elastic pockets that are perfect for everything from wipes to diapers to anything you can imagine. It has a couple more pockets, um, a smaller pocket and a smaller zippered pocket as well. I love how the pockets are organized. It's really nice. It keeps everything kind of contained on the side, and then you still have the middle to set things in. Overall, I think this is a great option. It's a little bit heavier from the get-go, even without anything in it, and I find that when I really load it up, it gets really heavy, and I wouldn't trust hanging it for my stroller, but since it's a backpack, it makes it super easy to take with you, and it's super convenient, and I love the look. Moving on to the Dagny Dover Indie Backpack, which I just got the other day and just fully unboxed. It is neoprene, and it feels super awesome. Definitely has a little bit of a smell first out of the box, but I know that'll dissipate with time. Starting on the outside of this one, it has a front zippered pocket. These zippers actually both go to the same pocket, but this one is really nice. I'm thinking of putting like some wipes or something in here so you can just kind of easily pull them right out. The pocket itself is pretty big and it has a couple of slots so you can add some stuff in as well. On the sides, there are two more pockets. This pocket side features some stretchy straps, which I love, and a space to clip on whatever you may need. The back side has a trolley pass-through and two side zippered pockets. They are not connected and they are not neoprene, but the rest of the bag is. Straps are just backpack straps and then it does come included with stroller straps that clip on to these hooks right here. This bag also has two zippers with nice long holes to make sure you can open them easily. The inside of the bag is a little bit darker, so it's a little bit harder to see to the bottom, but it does come with some included accessories that I find really nice. It comes with a wet bag of great size, and all of these items have a clip on them, so you can clip it into the clips inside the bag, which is great. It comes with its own matching changing pad, this interior um, organizational kind of like cup. You could probably put a water bottle in it. I'm not sure how I'm going to utilize it yet. And another small neoprene bag, which I actually have clipped to the inside clips. So you'll see that there are two of these that clip on the inside. They're super stretchy and they come with a bag, which is awesome. You can kind of include or hook on whatever you want, including your keys. Inside the bag, we have another laptop sleeve. This does fit my 15 inch laptop, which is really nice. It's a little bit tight once it's in there. It fits my iPad a lot better. It has a couple more pockets on the inside as well, and one side pocket. Overall, I think the Dagny Dover is definitely the better option for travel, and the Minibay is definitely a better everyday bag. I love that the pockets on the Minibay are super short. I think they tend to fit items better. The long pockets inside the Dagny Dover make items a little bit harder to find, but I love how much easier it opens, and without the flap, it'll be a lot easier for travel, thinking about looking into the bag sitting in a plane seat. 